Newfoundland Hobbyist is sponsored by Paul'sFinest.com, Mid Island Motorsports located in Springdale, WildMedKits.ca, and Robinson's General Store located in Middle Arm. I've had the privilege of being a knife maker for a little over three years now, and it has been an incredible journey. What you're seeing here right now is somewhat exclusive behind-the-scenes footage from my very humble beginnings. What you're seeing here is a little steel pot that I found and rigged up an overhead range hood blower and some tin pipe beneath into some holes I drilled through the pot. I'm building a little wood fire here now to generate enough heat to light some coal coal that I dug up on my hands and knees down in the beach, saltwater beach in Burlington, Newfoundland, where there used to be an old shipping coal shed decades ago. I had a nice little supply of coal and that is what I used to heat treat my early knives. The knife you're seeing here on the screen right now is actually my very first knife ever. It's a beautiful little neck knife that I still have today. The steel is leaf spring steel that I actually salvaged from a garbage dump and carved out with an angle grinder, drew the bevels with my little 1x30 belt sander. The handle pins are actually just 4 inch framing nails that I cut to length. The handle scales is a little piece of scrap wood that I had laying in the corner of my shop. Leaving your spine out? Pretty well, yeah. yeah. I thought you might. Ready? Yep. As I said, very humble beginnings. Since then, I've had the privilege to build so many cool knives for so many awesome people. People that have supported my journey, that have sought out my work, and I am so appreciative of that support. Some of the knife builds that I'm most proud of are ones that I've had the opportunity to build for military personnel. And just this past summer, I had an awesome opportunity to build another. Right now we have a little bit of an urgent project to get to. So I was not aware of this, but every year the Canadian Military Police Fun for Blind Children, or Blind, blind Children Fun, I'll, I'll post it there somewhere. Um, it is an organization that raises money to help with, uh, with families 
of blind children to help improve their quality of life up until a certain age, I believe. Uh, obviously an awesome fund. How could you argue with that? But uh, it's been running for quite some time. Every year they do, I think one of their biggest fundraisers is a big sort of golf tournament and then a big silent auction type deal. They've asked me if I could build a KN Knives knife to sit in that silent auction this year to raise money for the fund. So very exciting. I'm, I'm super proud that they asked me to do that. But we don't have a lot of time. I've got to get one made right away. Um, they gave me some leniency in terms of maybe sending it later, but I would love for it to be there for the auction. So we're going to do our very best here. Luckily I just happen to have a few heat treated blades here on the wall that haven't been uh, decked out with scales yet. That's what we're going with right there. We have a gorgeous tuck, heat treated, scandy grind. Look at that grind. Razor sharp forge finish, nice and black and dull which is uh, which is a nice choice for this. I'll note that the guys didn't give me any info, criteria, anything like that pertaining to what they want the knife to be like. Just that they wanted me to donate something. So I'm thinking Canadian forces here. So we need white, red, and I'm hoping, let's see, yeah, camo linen. Camo linen, white, red, let's see. Some three thirty seconds red. Three thirty seconds white, or go with a sixteenth of white. So I don't have quite as much bulk. I think we'll go with uh, the sixteenth of white. This is very exciting for me. I'm a big fan of the military. Uh, heavily considered the military route when I was just a young fella. I still do consider quite often the like the ranger force. Might be something I'll commit to one day. Having a tough time <laughs> right now adding anything to my plate. But something I would definitely love to do. I think that's the way to go right there. So we have the white against the green and then although the red looks dark and jumbled up there now it'll be against the shiny tang of the knife when that's done so everything will be contrasted. Red with the steel, white breaking up the red and the camo.
now that that's going up, we can get to work on our sheath so the sheath will be done and ready. This beautiful piece of six or seven ounce high, that's my preference for my knife sheaths. Get as little waste as is possible. Now we've got something really special. The Newfoundland Hobbyist is sponsored by EdgeProInc.com, ABS Bussing in Middle Arm, By the Sea Inn and Cafe located in Kings Point, and Nobles Timmermere with locations in Springdale and Bay Verde. So I found 
a copy of the military police force logo kind of their their big emblem and um, turn it to a black and white turn it to an outline type sketch and wait till you see that worked out perfectly my whole goal was to put it there like that so when I double the sheath it's a little more subtle and just get that beautiful half badge there and the emphasis on the on the flags it'll darken up a little bit as well once the sheath is oiled oh that is gorgeous So I decided, because this is a special piece and uh, going to a special cause, I decided to kind of spice it up a little bit, do something a little different out of the ordinary, and I chose a bright red stitching for this sheath. I'm not dyeing it, it's just going to be the natural finish of the leather, and then I'm going to oil it, which will darken it quite a bit, so dye is not necessary, and that'll give a beautiful contrast. This red stitching will pick up. A little hint of red in the handle. I think it'll just be lovely. Running a saddle stitch here. That's the standard, that's what I use on my leather sheaths.
next day, plants off. finish that I got here right off my belt sander. So notice the finish on the tang. Very clean. Nice. Then we have that red, white, and the camo. None of which you'll fully appreciate until we sand a little more and especially oil the material. It's looking pretty matte there now. It's chalky. If you could feel it, it's quite chalky. Now this is a nice symmetrical, good finished working handle. I could finish a knife like this for myself, never do another thing to it. But we can make it look a little more rich. So I'm going to start hand and sanding here with some 220 grit 3M. And now the final finish would have been taken with strokes running perpendicular to the knife, so I would have been working on a belt like this. Now I'm going to start going with the grain so I don't mess up my tang here and that way I know as well if I get all the, the belt grinder striations out. Are you ready to see it? The Tuckamore Forge Finish Scandi Grind. Check out those liners. The brass pins which remind me of the elegance and beauty in the, the military corps, the police military's uh, their emblem that we did on the sheath. The white and red for our beautiful flag, the camouflage. <clears throat> that is Canadian forces right there. And then how about this to top it off? How about that? Special edition, one of a kind, commemoration piece. Mmm, that, if I do say so myself, is one tasty piece. Check out that, uh, that logo, that emblem, the crest there, the brass. We did the hint of red stitching to go with the red in the handle. All just subtle hints and a whole lot of subtle hints make up for one exquisite piece in my opinion. So as always, thank you guys for watching. This was an absolute honor. Thank you so much to the person who reached out to me on behalf of the military police force. I am so honored to have had the opportunity to build this piece and uh, it was a challenge to my creativity, the idea of building something for a very special and specific cause, um, got my brain rolling on, on uh, what we could do just to really commemorate this piece 
and I'm really happy with what we come up with here. So Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned something, but at least I hope you are entertained. I'm very proud of this build, very proud to have been asked to donate to this cause, but also, once again, proud to have built for military personnel. I really, really enjoy any time and opportunity that I get to do that. As always, I need to give a shout out to my sponsors. I really appreciate them. They help make this show possible. And also, make sure you tune in next week to the Newfoundland Hobbyists.